Welcome to this tutorial on the different types of interconnection. Now there are a wide and confusing range of different types of connection for digital and analog audio and this is due to the wide range of different signal types and devices, the cost and quality demands of the professional and the consumer sectors and the way in which devices and audio technologies have evolved over the years. The primary technical considerations for manufacturers when they're designing a device are Will the connection be permanent or temporary? For example, in the case of a patch bay, the sockets on the front need to be extremely resilient to withstand the constant plugging and unplugging of patch cord cables. So in the case of studios, they will be Bantam or GPO B gauge type sockets, extremely strong and robust. On the other hand, a CD player need only have a simple RCA phono connector, which is relatively delicate, but that doesn't matter because once plugged in, it's unlikely to be constantly replugged again and again. The next consideration is, if the lead is accidentally pulled out, would it cause inconvenience? For example, if you were doing a live broadcast or some kind of live performance and a performer accidentally pulled out a microphone lead, that would be very inconvenient. So those kind of leads might need some kind of latching system uh, to make them more robust and more secure. Next up, what's the required lifespan for the lead? For example, a professional microphone lead might need to give several years of service, maybe tens of years of service, and therefore needs to be of high quality and robust standard and design. Whereas a pair of headphones for a mobile phone or device may only need to last one or two years. Does the connection require a balanced signal? If so, then a cable with three cores or wires inside it and a connector with three poles such as an XLR or a quarter inch TRS jack plug will have to be used. What cost will the buyer tolerate? On an expensive bit of professional gear we might expect to find extremely robust and expensive and well engineered connectors whilst on a budget keyboard it's unlikely that the buyer would pay the extra cost for those kind of connections. How is the technology perceived? For example, professionals will demand a professional connector socket on a device. This effects processor, for example, has both balanced XLR connectors and balanced TRS quarter inch jacks, but without the XLR connectors, many wouldn't consider it a professional device, even though the TRS jacks are perfectly adequate for the job at hand. The script for this tutorial with accompanying screenshots can be found at projectstudiohandbook.com and finally please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel or at the website to get instant notification of new videos as they are uploaded and please do click on the ads of interest to you we're a free resource and they help to pay our costs thanks very much for watching